that or my internet's taking a dive. Cool. Let's see if my internet's doing poorly. Just doing a speed test really quick because the stream didn't look too good. actually considered kind of a, a game that taxes the NES hardware part of it. It's got parallax scrolling, a lot of color. I've actually never played this, or I haven't for in the foreseeable past, or the rememberable past. I want to change is hide the overscan and I think I can change this here <clears throat> so you saw that weird scrolling on the side it's still happening Hey, John. Yeah. I 
think as the Batman super fan that I uh, have always been, especially when I was younger, I probably scoffed at this because he can shoot. So, I think that's probably why I never played this before. Wow. I don't like this game. <laughs> I'm sure I would have liked it when I was younger. Alright. Any requests for the NAS or any other systems? Was always a pretty good developer, but at the same time, they never really stuck to the license they had. They just kind of did what they wanted. Alright, let's see if rebooting this crashes the uh, stream out like it did on the Elgato. Oh, it looks like no. Cool. So on here, I think what works right now is Atari 2600, 5200. ColecoVision, I can get to get to the uh, title screen, but I can't get ColecoVision to work. I don't know what's going on. Game Boy works, Genesis works, NES works. Odyssey 2 works, but I think I have to map the controller differently. Uh, Sega Master System, SNES, TurboGrafx, and Vectrex. Vectrex works a little odd as well. It doesn't really look too good through the capture device. <clears throat> Man, my upload is just taking a royal shit today, isn't it? You can see how far I can get blazing lasers since I haven't played in so long. Now this game I used to be able to get through like every time I played it so much, but I don't know. Multi-body. So you want to pick up a few of these items, because every time you grab one of those se secondary items, you get a... Oh, shit. You get a new bomb. <clears throat> I think you can stack up to... Let's say it's like 13 or 14. I 
I used to know this game really well. <laughs> This is pretty much the weapon I used to go all the way through the game except for one level. Because <laughs> there's too much false stuff to lock on to. I want more missile or more bombs, damn it! And then each weapon, and each main weapon, can be upgraded like once. If you've ever played Space Megaforce on the uh, Super Nintendo, this is kind of the first one of that series. <clears throat> it's made by Compile, the same developer. There's even some uh, sound effects from this game in that game. And it's fantastic. It's one of the best shmups on this Super Nintendo, that and Axelay and r 3. So the little pink orbs um, will upgrade your weapon, but it's <clears throat> like there's levels. So the first time, if you pick up one, you go up one level. If you, then the next time, you have to pick up two to go up another level. And it's just exponential after that. There's kind of a prequel to this game as well on the Master System called Elise or Last Day, however you want to say it. Okay, so this one, these change all the time. This one that I'm combed in on now. If you keep shooting it, it will um, start flashing and, and slowly start making its way up. But the cool thing about getting this is not only does it clear the level, but now I have a continue, if I die, it won't stop and start me over to checkpoint. It'll uh, regenerate right, right where you're at. And there's no on-screen indication if you have that or not. You just have to trust that it's happening. <coughs> Even the reset works on this when you hit 
you hold select and hit run, it'll reset the, the game right from the controller. <laughs> Which was great at the time, but at the same time, if you were playing multiplayer with a friend, and they got pissed off, and they would just reset it on you. That kind of sucked. A lot of good games are still going to play now, some of them take a lot of time. I think I played this the other day. It's such an awesome game! spend hours playing this game. That's the game telling me I suck, those three red things about the filters now. It sucks so bad we gotta save your butt. Oh, down here. Basically up here it's just setting me up for a bonus screen or a challenge screen. So right now the thing's spinning around and it's going to put an arrow at one of the exits. Make it fall in there then we'll get to do a challenge screen.
Oh my god. Can you see that come out? Japanese pinball game with like kaiju and stuff in it. I think I've streamed it for like a long time ago. I actually own that one on cart. It's a really neat game. Final Lap Twin is actually pretty funny. It's a, a Namco racing game, and it actually has a full RPG in it. And the RPG I finished way, 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 way back, but it's actually kind of fun. Uh, also, World Court Tennis on this has an RPG in it as well, and uh, my friends and I played the hell out of it. Uh, this, game, this game's a lot of fun. I remember the last boss in this is uh, Tennis King. Yeah, the quest mode there. I gotta use the dude with the uh, headband. I'm gonna suck. Come on. Oh boy. Alright. Holy shit. All right. Wow. I used to like this game. <laughs> oh, come on. How much keeps in this game? Miles of beef. Oh boy. Holy shit, I suck. <laughs> Man, I used to play this game all the time. <clears throat> the cool thing is you can play this four player with the tab and That's enough of that crap. Oh, let me, uh... When do you want me to reset it? <laughs> Alright, well... Uh... I love this series. The turbo version of this is... I think it's better than the Mega Drive version, but... Mega Turrican. This is a lot more, uh, faithful to the original on the Amiga. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Buttons, uh, I 
is actually pretty popular in the arcades, and there's a lot of home versions of this. There's um, a Genesis, this version. Uh, I think it came off for the NES even. And then there's like a Super Chase HQ for the uh, SNES that's actually pretty cool. Um, uses the Mode 7 for the road and everything. Okay. This is Nancy at Safe Headquarters. We've got an emergency here. Got you, Nancy. Basically, you gotta find these cards that you're after and keep running into them. I started this, I let you out so you wouldn't bother me. Yeah. And you have water up here, you just got you just got treats. Oh, here's a good game actually. <clears throat> so this one uh it's an early game, but it was a lot it was similar in some ways to Double Dribble on the NAS, you know, where they have the 
cool animated stuff when you get up close and, and don't get like, see like that right there. Um, I played a lot of this game. I think this should be done. Oh shit, I have to hit the button again. Okay. I had the six button controller set up on here right now. I play this, but I'm gonna wait until my. I bought this really cool adapter um, that allows you to connect up the actual controllers for the actual systems. And it came with like six dongles, like six Saturn, SNES, etc. And I ordered one for the TurboGrafx, and they forgot to send me that one. So they sent it now, so it'll be here in a couple days. But Well, I guess I could a different console. <clears throat> so there's, like, I've got the Amiga set up on here, but I can't get the video to work right. Um, but you can actually boot this up as an Amiga, which is just badass. I wanted one of those so bad when I was younger. Um, and you can see it, it gets real, the video gets real squirrely, but you can see that it's on the front screen. I just haven't figured out the video and why it's not working yet, so I'm still working on that, but most of this stuff works. 
The Odyssey's just got a weird controller, so I, I tried the other day and it booted up, but I couldn't get anything to work. Coleco's the same way. 5200, kind of unimpressive. Like, I even think pole position on the 5200 is not as good as the 2600 version. <clears throat> I played both of them and I wasn't that impressed. Asteroids is better, though, but it's Asteroids. Congo Bongo. Oh, man. All right, now i got to remember. They had a Game Boy Advance core. Somebody's working them on, but it's not out yet. But I'd actually like to play some GBA games on here. I was actually kind of—I thought they already had it, so I was kind of excited about it. And then I just don't know what I want to play on the Genesis ever. I'm not going to play something like Landstalker. That's an RPG-ish game. So this is Thunder Force 4 from Japan. Um, when they brought it over here, they called it Lightning Force for whatever reason. They actually did a Sega Ages of this on... Or not Sega Ages, but they brought this out on the Switch. It's actually really good on the Switch. downstairs right away. Yeah. You're all right, babe. You're okay. The sun's still out. Give me some time and I'll let you hang out for a while outside, okay? Just give me a while. <coughs> Red gun. 
Genesis on the Genesis side. So, <clears throat> there was this game on the SNES that I played, and I put a video up of it called Peacekeepers, because Mark was telling me that it's considered by the internet like the best brawler on the SNES, and I played it, and I didn't think it was that great. Um, but then I was reading up on it, and apparently the, the Japanese version's a lot better, They because I guess they changed the music when they brought it to the U.S., and... Change some of the gameplay mechanics and everything, which just makes no sense, but that was 16-bit days, so what do you expect? Um, but I was going to try to play the Japanese version. I just can't remember what it's called. I think it's like... Rush something? No, it's not Russian Beat. Actually, do I have the text from Mark? Rushing beat Sakura. Oh, right there. Or Shura, yeah. So one of the things this beats Final Fight on is the fact you can play two player at the same time. Okay. But there's some other stuff. Is I really don't think this game's that great. I mean, it's solid, I guess, but the controls and the interaction from the players just doesn't really do a lot for me. Like, it just doesn't feel like it's doing much. The music is definitely better in the Japanese version. This 
music is so Super Nintendo, though. Early Super Nintendo. The instrumentation really is good, but it's so cheesy in the music. Just using the built-in samples. I think Turtles in Time is way better than this. Yeah. 
people are punching me. Scrap me. And that's the mechanic they gave him. He just comes over, over you when you're knocked down and just sort of stab around. Right. So cheap. And then that bullshit. That's art of fighting. Rock and roll racing, God. My buddy Travis and I got so good at rock and roll racing that we kept playing it and playing it and playing one day and then we figured out, holy shit, there's no end to this game. There's no finale or anything. You just keep going. And we had figured it out at the time and we just kept playing it. most expensive games for the Super Nintendo, Pocky and Rocky 2. A box copy goes for over a thousand bucks. It's a good game, I don't know if it's worth that much. But it's Natsumi, so it's um, low circulation already. this game. Magikarp attack. Okay. Okay. Played the first one a long time ago, but I've, I've never played this one. That's why I never get any paperwork done. It's the only thing hanging out down there. You won't go downstairs on your own, you have to wait till I go.
practice stage. I'm gonna say no, just be a dick. Game right, go ahead. <laughs> I actually saw one of these for sale at MGC this year, and they wanted like five grand for it.
European game as you'll see with the graphics. <clears throat> um, kind of easy to get for probably one of the top five soundtracks on a Super Nintendo game, as you can hear. Decent game, not the greatest in the world, but the soundtrack is really, really good.
Thanks for watching. I'll put this up on YouTube.